Hi everyone, it's Margaret and I'm going to be doing an in the summer going into fall transitional look and it's like it's like a look that you could wear definitely in summer as well. You could wear it in the fall seasons. It's such a beautiful color and it definitely has um, a lot of emphasis on that glowiness that you want in your skin but at the same time it's very chic and very kind of elegant and it really works in definitely different seasons but I thought this is a really nice inspiration so what I'm doing here on my model Brianna is I'm just really evening out her um, skin tone but she's very peaches and cream and she's got a lot uh, actually a lot of peach in her skin and with this summer glow skin I want it to be more warm and so without taking away her natural pale tones I'm actually going more with a yellow tone in her skin just to bring the warmth out without making it look too dark because you don't want this to look fake or very over drawn out with you know adding too much of what's not really her skin tone so what you want to do is just bring the warmth out and then you want to create the glow so now oh, see what I'm doing here I'm adding like um, a little bit of a BB cream um, with her natural foundation that I'm using her natural color and just kind of creating a little bit of coverage but not too much but at the same time smoothing the skin out so now I'm taking my wedge sponge and I'm just gonna set I don't want to over powder because the thing about it is you want the natural oils to come through so I'm just gonna take my little wedge sponge and just kinda give it a little bit of, of areas you know that needs extra and then taking my complexion brush here and I'm just gonna lightly just set it not overdo it now I did put um, some fallout powder underneath her eyes because I don't want any of the shadows to fall all over her face so I'm taking that I took a gold highlighting powder and I went on her brow bone and now I'm taking this coppery tone color it has like a gold copper and I'm going all along the um, half moon of her eyelid and what I'm going to eventually do is merge the copper and the gold highlighting powder as one. I'm just going to meld it all together because I like that really transition. But this is really kind of like that. It's kind of mimicking a sunset um, and has that kind of feel to it. So now I'm taking a little bit more defined brush and I'm going to elongate the, the lid um, a little bit out. I'm just bringing the copper out along the outer parts of her lid and then I'm going to take that and just merge that right onto the lower lid and I'm smoking it out with the copper and see how pretty that is it's really really just just gorgeous glowy coppery colors that's what you really want but you want this to still have a soft effect you don't want this to be heavy and I'm going to add a little bit of and I'm not doing pencils on this because I still want this to be very soft. So I'm taking my blending brush here. Now I'm merging the gold highlight with the copper on the lid and just kind of melding that together. So now I'm taking this espresso brown color. with It has actually a little bit of a gold glow. Um, and I'm just going to take my straight edge um, uh, liner brush. And I'm just going to go right along the lash line and I'm going to use this as my eyeliner because I'm going to be blending it in if you see the brush in my other hand I'm going to take that and I'm actually going to blend that into the copper a little bit so it's not really like a super heavy brown but it's but the brown is definitely enough to give it a little bit of a payout um, and and just add a little bit more um, intensity to the eyes so see how I'm just adding that brown and then I'm going to blend 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 but you don't want to over blend you just want to blend just right on the edge of that dark brown into the copper so that it doesn't have that heaviness to it so I'm going to take that brown color and go right on the lash line and see how I'm just kind of going right along the whole lid and then I'm going to blend 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 that into that copper color that I put smoked it out earlier so now I'm just going to now blend everything together and pull it out so see what I want to do is really create that payout but not that edge so I'm taking a, a very soft color kind of a auburn color 
um, eyebrow powder and I'm just going to go right along her um, brow line and just fill in the little gaps but not over emphasize I'm just going to keep it very natural now whatever color your um, hair is you want to match that to the natural tones um, Brianna has red hair so I'm using the red tones so now I'm just doing my finishing touches on my um, blending here and I want everything to look really soft and meld in together and I'm going to use um, a very super black mascara to really add more payout and and that's what's going to really add more drama to this now if you like my tex techniques and you want to learn how to become a makeup artist a pro or just a really great novice that looks like a pro um, check out my website at www.mkcbeautyacademy.com um, for YouTube subscribers you'll get 50% off on the online training um, if you want to come in for a personal training in-person training you have to come to LA and you can definitely book those you can also do a blended training where you can do partially online and then you can come in and do some intense training in person it's really affordable it's wonderful definitely check it out I also have online tr um, uh, portfolio building workshops and stuff if you're a makeup artist and you want to get a portfolio built up or a hairstylist definitely check that out too so here I'm using a contour color blush and I went into the depths of her cheeks and now I'm using this peaches and cream highlighting powder and this has a little bit of a nice soft shimmer and this adds to the glow and I'm going right on the top part of the ledge of her cheekbones and her chin and along her bridge of her nose just to bring the glow out and see how everything is starting to really come together it's still very soft it's very glowy but it's beautiful and I love 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 this feel of makeup because it's natural but it's very sophisticated and I'm I'm going to just end it with like this orangey red deep orangey color poppy color um, lip color and I think this is really really a nice accompaniment to the coppers and also with her red tones in her hair I think it really not adds a nice touch to um, this look now I think this look also will work on really pretty much on any skin color whether you're really super dark olive or super blonde blonde or if you're you know brunette I mean I think this is a really great color the orangey brownie kind of um, reddish tone color and it, this one is a high pigmented um, lip lip color gloss it's not a lipstick but you can use a lipstick and then just add a little bit of gloss and there you have it this is my summer smoky glow I love this look. I hope you guys try it out. Definitely stay tuned for more inspiration looks like this. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.